Yo, welcome back to the WMB Mob channel, man. Today we are here. We are back with arguably my favorite band of all time. And I don't really think it's arguable. Like, I really do, like, live band. Let me, let me say live band. I got to hear some more bands to pick, which is my favorite. But live band, I do think that, that Led Zeppelin takes takes the cake um you just can't go wrong you got four gods in one band that's literally what zeppelin is it's four gods in one band i mean you just can't go wrong with it and then finding out that there were some more classics some more great songs by them that i didn't know like i said before cashmere i knew stairway of course i knew immigrant song I knew Since I've Been Loving You, I knew Heartbreaker, um, Black Dog, something else I'm missing, but I knew I knew the hits of Led Zeppelin, but y'all was like, oh, well, if that's all you know, then you got some more to learn, brother, because they got more hits, and so y'all y'all let me hit Cashmere. And I subconsciously, for whatever reason, I remember hearing that that kick, that da -da -da, da -da -da, like, but I just don't know where. And then y'all told me that that was sampled a lot by a lot of other artists. Um, so maybe that's where I heard it. I heard it in samples, and I never heard the song. Um, and then you was y'all was like, "Yo, dazed and confused. That should be up next." So that's what we here with. I would do live, but. Y'all yeah, yeah, didn't specifically say live. Y'all yeah, said just days and confused. And that's I'm completely wrong, which I usually am. So pardon me if I'm wrong. But if so, we'll watch the live one. But I guess it is good that I hear the, the original version first. And then I'll have more appreciation for the live one afterwards. If y'all want to see that. But um, yeah, man, days and confused, man. I'm ready. Never heard it, but I'm ready. Let's go. Mm. Oh, this is about to be sick. Big days and confused for so long, it's not true. Walking in a warm and never walking for you. Love. I'm so sorry. That, that caught me so off guard, and Robert Plant is such a, like, He's such a god that we have to go back. We have to, we have to, we got to start fresh again. I'm sorry. That caught me way too off guard. I'm sorry. Robert Plant, man, his voice, man, his voice embodies rock music. Like, it is the most, like, but that sounded just straight blues and, like, oh. Man, yeah, we gotta. I'm sorry, we just had to start fresh. I'm sorry. Big days and confused for so long, it's not true. Mm. Warm and warm and never walking for you. Lots of people talking, few of them know. So Crazy. 
that trans that transition that dun 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 Oh, this is nuts. feel this like eerie almost scary type of feel Robert just giving it like some like some like I don't, again it almost sound like it's scary but like you got Jimmy doing something with the guitar but it's making it sound eerie as hell you got Robert almost like he almost giving like a pleading soft scream like Ah, uh, like, like, <laughs> yo, Zeppelin, yo, Zepp, yo, yo, I don't even have the words, man. I oh, and then that bass line. Almost sound like the Halo 3 uh intro music. Uh, like that. Is that a real plane? John Bonham is a god. He's going nuts. Go, 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 go. I hit Jimmy too, but John is going crazy. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is mayhem.
Do y'all hear me? This is mayhem. You know what it remind me of? It's reminding me of war pigs. This is what this remind me of in a weird way. Like the at least the drumming. Um, what's my man name from Sabbath? Bill Ward, drumming. It eerily reminds me of war pigs. Well, you know, oh Lord, yeah, da 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 I don't know why. I just eerily, I don't know why it's reminding me of War Pigs. And then that transition, you know what it also reminded me of? Where it got like eerie and quiet and like you got Robert Plant doing like the echo screams. and the, It reminded me of the, of the middle section of Whole Lot of Love. Where, um... Where the beat go well after after the second time they do the chorus, you just hear you just hear um Bonham on the uh on the cymbal. It's like t t t t t t t t t t and then uh Jim yeah I don't know what I'm saying I don't know what I'm trying to say but if you heard a whole lot of love you know in the middle section it does something eerily sim uh similar to this. I don't know why. I just it, it reminded me of those two things. I I heard war pigs and then I heard the middle section a whole lot of love. But John Bonham is a god. John Bonham is a god. This dude just went nuts for like three minutes. And then he's coming back into the beat and he's like going nuts. Like this is insane. They are nuts. Yep. So uh, that's getting added to the playlist. Just give me one second here. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. I don't care. I, I, I'll show you. Hold on. Dazed and confused. You see it? Y'all see the symbol, right? You see the album? Yep. Let me go ahead. Hit that three hit those three little dots. Add to library. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is madness. This is madness. Uh John Bonham. That song was all John Bonham. No disrespect to John Paul Jones, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant. Um, this song was all about John Bonham. If John Bonham was singing, uh, if if they all four, or if all four of them were singing, this was a show out song. It would be like a like like I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but this song was this this song is all about John Bonham. Sorry, the the instrumentation as a whole. I mean, it's, it's, it's Zeppelin. I, I'm not going to be a broken record and keep talking. Like, it's perfection. It's Jimmy Page, John Paul Jones, John Bonham, okay? I heard the bass line. I heard it. I did. It was amazing. I heard Jimmy Page. He was amazing. That beginning of the, of the breakdown, where they both, like, it was almost like a solo for both of them. Like, it was like a solo for, for John and Jimmy. Jimmy was going crazy, but John stole the show. John stole the show. 
And I saw a lot of people when I mentioned this in the Cashmere uh, reaction. I said um, if Zeppelin could have continued without uh, John and it was a unanimous no. I mean, it was a couple of yeah, maybes, but it was a unanimous no. And I understand. I, I get it. And y'all talked about it was just because of their natural chemistry. Like, they didn't rehearse, really. Like, they just had a natural thing where they could just go up on stage and just connect. Like, they don't have to, like, do a million rehearsals. And, like, because y'all told me that so much of their performance is um not freestyle. What's the right word? But y'all yeah, know what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not... We have a set list, and this is what we're going to do in every city. It's, hey, in New York, we're going to perform this, but once we get to D.C., we're going to do this. So, And it's no rehearsals. They just naturally did it. They naturally fused toge together and made this like... John John Bonham is, a, is, is he's alien. He's not from this. He's not, he's not from here. He's not. He's not from. He's not from the planet Earth, man. He's really, really not. Is there a biopic on Zeppelin? Is it? I just watched Johnny Cash. Uh, y'all know I saw Queen Bohemian Rhapsody and I saw Elvis. Please tell me there's a biopic on Zeppelin. I want to watch it immediately. I really, really do. This is nuts this is nuts like i can't put into words what i just heard john bonham do i love this song it's already one of my favorite rock songs of all time already of one listen of one listen it's one of my favorite rock songs ever i want to look y'all know i gotta look up the song i gotta look up the song and y'all told me don't really put much stock into a uh, billboard and all that stuff when it comes to Zeppelin because they made 20 minute songs, which wasn't uh, a single friendly, which makes great sense. But just y'all know, I only do this really to just get some other context that you probably can't get hearing it, like when it was made and that and all that type of stuff. Um Dazed and Confused, Led Zeppelin. Here we go. Released in 1969. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. It was written by Jake Holmes in 1967. Performed in a folk rock style, he recorded it for his debut album, The Above Ground Sound of Jake Holmes. Although although some concluded that it was a bad acid trip, Holmes insists the lyrics refer to the effects of a girl's indecision on ending a relationship. Gotcha. Gotcha. The young, oh, after hearing Holmes perform the song in August in 1967, English rock group The Yard Bur Yardbirds, which we found out was the earlier name of Zeppelin, uh, reworked it with new arrangement. It soon became a centerpiece of their tour, several recordings of which have been released, including Yard on Yardbirds 1968, produced by guitarist Jimmy Page. Um, oh no, come on, y'all. Tell me this isn't true. Holmes attempted to contact Page in the 1980s regarding the songwriting credit, but received no response. In 2010, Holmes filed a lawsuit and the matter was settled out of court. With the credit on Led Zeppelin releases being changed to Jimmy Page, inspired by Jack Holmes. Okay. Um, I guess that's okay. Um, hmm. 
I just want to know what it did commercially. Um, Dazed and Confused was the most regularly performed song by Zeppelin, appearing in over 400 concerts. Gotcha. It was greatly expanded to include more improvisation, including short portions of other songs and live performances could be as long as at least 30 minutes. They have a 30 minute version of Days and Confused Live. Gotcha. And they did that naturally. They, like, they didn't rehearse that. That's crazy to me. Um... Mm, okay, I, I just want to know what it did. Okay, it's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shaped rock and roll. Uh, and that's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay, so I assume it didn't, it didn't chart, which again doesn't matter, but I'm just curious about that type of stuff. Gotcha. Listen, man. At this point, again, I'm not surprised by anything that Zeppelin does, but that was amazing. And the fact that this is my first time hearing that song very much annoys me. But guess what? It won't be the last time. I'm probably about to listen to it right after I turn this camera off. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. As always, give me more Zeppelin. I'll, I'll forever love you and be grateful for that. But until next time, peace.